Climate action is getting seriously competitive down on the south coast. Recycle right, you have scored one green goal. I think we want to compete against people from other teams, but also from our own team. We sort of want to be that representative from Southampton that sort of is in all the glory. It's all about trying to be more sustainable for yourself and for your club. It's all about bringing that green footprint and Southampton using their influence to try and make some greater change overall. This is a competition getting fans to take on planet protecting activities, to score green goals and win great prizes. It's um, invigorated me to, uh, to use my car a bit less, to try and cycle more, to use the train more, to walk more, to work into the shops, and just to try and reduce my carbon footprint for myself and for the people around me. Get around greener, you have scored two green goals. So for this specific tournament, Saints Plant League Cup, what are the prizes that are up for grabs? Some amazing prizes up for grabs. So there's a meet and greet at the first team training ground for the fan who takes the most action. There's another prize for some match day hospitality. Come to a game with your family and have a great time. There's a signed shirt. There's some vouchers to win at the club shop. I'm doing a kick about doing stuff like making stuff with fruit that to involve with football, um, filling up water from the tap and the recycling bin, all sorts of stuff like that. Even the Southampton players are on board. One of them has had this at heart from an early age. Growing up, I would always want to be outside and always breathe in the air. And there was so much car traffic as well. So it was very quiet where I lived. And that's essentially what I'm doing right now. You know, I drive an electric, electric car as well. So things like that help. Uh, the planet as well so again it's, it's pushing that. I think it brings us as fans closer to the players because we're all working for the same end goal so seeing someone like Theo, someone so respected as Theo, so make these small changes which we can all adopt and change ourselves makes us want to do them and it sort of brings us closer as a club as fans to the players. So the link to football is a powerful one the link to nature is too. It's such a simple pleasure but for instance if I see a certain even a hedgehog for instance you know she don't see many of if I see one, I have to need the kids. I need to try and wake them up or whatever and show them or just small things, deers, everything. It's just, like I said, it's a beautiful world out there and we need to really hold on to it. We need to protect it. Not throwing waste into the water because it hurts animals and creatures and it destroys lots of stuff. And I'm not really, I don't really like that. And if the planet is under threat, so is everything on it, including football. I don't know if you know this, but there's, there's research which has projected that a number of football clubs, their grounds will be either regularly flooded or completely underwater by 2050. And one of the four wow. clubs in the Premier League that would be affected is Southampton. Or being on the because, coast, yeah. Because where you are, yeah. Do you know what, that, I didn't know that. Mm. Didn't know that, that's scary, because that's not far at all. Mm. Less than 30 years time. That's really shocked me, to be honest. That's, um, yeah, if that doesn't shock anyone, shocked me right now, if that doesn't really wake everyone up, I don't know what will. I think it's a tipping point in that we, we know, you know, the, the recent reports out around the climate, like we are, there's a countdown clock. It's really running out. We have to take action. You know, governments are looking at stuff, technology and policy are, but people, what do we do as normal people? And sport has this incredible ability to bring people together, to get people to take action. And we're really excited about the movement here and really using the power of sport to move to a greener society. So that didn't have previous when it comes to climate. They've staged greener games, and sustainability is embedded in and considered at every level of what the club do, thanks to their ethos, the halo effect. But they don't want it to be exclusive to them. I feel like in time, each and every club should be doing this. I know there's a few that do. Um, I know we've had seasons where we've played in, you know, we've had green days where we've played in, in green kits, which, I mean, I, I love the green kit. I will wear that every day if I had the choice. Um, mm -hmm. So, but yeah, I think at some point mandatory, everyone should be doing this, yeah. So, gamifying climate action. Could it catch on? I think we're a couple of seasons away from major sustainability, stories, content, competitions, um, fun engagement. I'm not sure we'll get chanting on the terraces about this, <laughs> but I think we are, we're in an amazing place right now and the power of sport and football. As I said, this younger audience, is, they're so, it's so important to them as an issue. I think we're going to see more and more, and as I say, it's just around the corner, a real explosion in terms of green living, making it fun, engaging, exciting, just as sport is. I think that this is something that can be adopted by more Premier League teams. I know a lot of teams are sort of looking at their 
the green, the green energy and stuff and the sort of sustainability of the future. Um, but if more teams adopted this sort of approach to listening to the fans and getting fans to change their lifestyle effectively to sort of for the better of themselves and other people, then that's a big step forward for the future. For the future of the planet, for those who follow in our footsteps. Um, third place in the competition. Wow. So you've been, you've been up at the top of the leaderboard all the way all the way through. So how much does that spur you on to do more? When you see someone overtake you or maybe you know you want to get away from someone behind you? It just makes me want to try and beat them and stuff like that. Are you quite competitive? Yes. I think this younger generation these days aren't afraid of being outspoken or you know want to say their opinion and I kind of like that to be honest I do so I feel that this generation will help that process they'll make it a lot simpler and smoother and that's what we want it to be we need to be smooth simple process and not too complicated and that's I feel like that young people like don't overcomplicate it a bit of clarity and then we go from there kickabout you have scored one green goal